Damon de Valera was born on October 14, 1882, in New York City. Damon lived in New York City until he was two years old when his father died. After his father died, his mother wasn't able to take care of him anymore, so Eamon was sent to Ireland, which is where his mom grew up. When Eamon got to Ireland, he was raised by his grandparents. De Valera became a math teacher and considered becoming a priest because he was very religious. Eamon joined the Gaelic League and became an advocate for preservation of the Gaelic language and Irish culture. In 1913, De Valera joined the Irish Volunteers, a group formed to oppose the Ulster Volunteers and ensure the passage of the Irish Parliamentary's Third Home Rule Act, which was won by the leader of the party, John Redmond. This activity was the beginning of De Valera's long political career. In 1916, De Valera was commander at Boland's Mill during the Easter Uprising, one of the last men to surrender to the British forces. Eamon was sentenced to death, but soon after his sentence was changed to life in prison. But then, they changed his sentence and released him from prison in 1917, and shortly after was elected to the House of Commons for East Clare. This election began de Valera's time in political office which lasted until 1973. His faith influenced his political agenda. His love of learning and pride in Irish culture helped spread Irish culture all around the globe. He never gave up on the cause of Irish independence from Great Britain, preserving the dream of a unified Ireland. Historians continue to debate his contributions to Irish history, but what is not in dispute is that he devoted his life to the preservation of the Ireland he knew and loved. On August 29, 1975, Eamon died of a pneumonia in Black Rock, Dublin, Ireland. I am proud to have shared this information about Eamon de Valera. Not only do we share the same name, but we share a love for Ireland. All my great-grandparents and my grandfather were born in Ireland. I feel blessed to have experienced the warmth of Irish hospitality and pride in Irish culture. I am looking forward to my next visit to Ireland.